PC Perspective's coverage of CES 2016 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, Ryan Trout from PC Perspective. We are here at the Gigabyte booth at CES 2016 to go over an interesting new line of motherboards that they're releasing. These are actually being classified as gaming workstation boards. They have a really unique look to them. Uh, but what's interesting about these is that they are not based on any Z series chipset. These are actually based on the Intel C236 chipset, these two primary ones. Now they are being branded as the Gigabyte X170 Gaming 7WS, for example, uh, and this is the Z or the X170 Extreme ECC. So these boards uh, support the Skylake Xeon processors uh, that do not have onboard graphics, thus, uh, which is something that a lot of consumers are doing, both gamers, photographers, content creators, in order to get a little bit better performance out of their devices uh, at a better price, right? So this is allows you to run those Xeon processors in these boards without sacrificing a whole lot of features or a whole lot of compatibility uh, or uh, uh, anything like that. So you can still, you still got SLI and Crossfire support. Uh, you have ECC support on some of these boards. I think it's on this one, not on not on this first one here. It just depends on the on the DDR4 pin layout. Uh, but you still have you know BIOS compatibility. There's some basic overclocking capability to this. People who want more stable platforms uh, don't ne necessarily need all of the stuff associated with the gaming boards, uh, but also want to save a little bit of money. These boards are going to be priced uh, essentially equivalent to their Z series products, but because you can use a lower cost processor, you're going to save money across the board. You can see they have some uh, full-size ATX with, uh, you can see the kind of like the military camo, digital camo design uh, that kind of scroll down into the, the micro ATX boards that are much lower cost that are using the C232. So these are all supposed to be the focus for Gigabyte going forward for those types of users. Again, gamers, content creators, etc. that want to save money and still have high-performing parts. Uh, and these will be available by March.